Hi, I'm Sally Briggs, and I have a short message to give to you, um, just to keep you encouraged and to let you know that um, God is, he is for you, always, always, always. So I'll start with prayer. Dear Father, I thank you for this message. It's just a short, sweet message, but it speaks such truth. And I thank you for putting it in my heart. And I pray now for it just to speak to each person's heart who is hearing this right at this very moment. So Lord God, I thank you for your blessing on it. And I thank you for you to bless all who are hearing it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So I, this just came to me because I always pray about what God would like me to see as a, almost like a parable of how I can speak something into you that God gives me through something I'm experiencing. So I have this um, really cute little wiener dog. He's right here. His name is Bart. Um, and Bart, Bart absolutely loves me. He loves me, over the top loves me. He follows me everywhere I go. And he, I mean, I walk real quick to go get the laundry and he's right there at my heels and I go outside and if he doesn't get through the door quick enough, he is standing there like uh, whining at the door because it's, where's mom? I have to be in contact with my mom, me, <laughs> that's what Bart thinks, the dog, as, as much as he can, as much as he can. And if I go somewhere and I have to leave him at home, he won't even drink water until I'm back home. And I can tell because as soon as I walk in the door, he rushes to his water bowl and drinks water like, like he, he hasn't had water for days. So this little dog chases me everywhere. And do you know that you are chased everywhere by Jesus? If you haven't already invited him into your heart, he is pursuing you all the time. And there's a place in your heart that is only formed for him. He will fit exactly into that place. And he's made it that way within you, that our, our lives, our spirits, because we are born with the spirit, our spirit within us longs to be connected to our creator. And our creator's son is our connection to God. So inside, we long to be created or we long to be connected, reunited with Jesus, the one who created us. And inside there's, I always think of that heart, you know, this heart. You have a, a shape within your heart that is ready for Jesus. And then the awesome thing is that it, it tells us he is knocking at the door of our heart all the time, all the time, unless of course you've already invited him in, then that's a complete different story. But Otherwise, he is constantly knocking. You'll get little feelings of, my life just feels empty. I feel like I'm missing something and I'm searching. And I'm searching in all of these different spiritual ways and different religions when only Jesus can fit into that place in your heart. And all you have to do is ask him in. You just say, Jesus, I want you in my heart. I thank you for giving, for forgiving me of my sins. And I thank you for being my Lord and Savior and living within me. And then what happens is so cool because Jesus, he doesn't come into your heart. The Holy Spirit comes into your heart. He's the gift from Jesus. So in John 14, you can read all about that and who the Holy Spirit is. But the awesome thing is that the Holy Spirit then comes to live with you forever. It says in God's word that he never departs from you. He never, ever departs from you. The only way he will depart is if you actually choose to not want him anymore. Like to say, I do not want the Holy Spirit. I don't recognize the Holy Spirit. And I want nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. Which would be so incredibly awful because the Holy Spirit is the one who enables us to live on this planet and actually have joy and peace and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and self-control. He gives you all of this so that you can live on this earth and actually have it to the fullest, where it's not such a, a 
a bad thing, an oppressive thing, but because you have the Holy Spirit within you, he gives you everything that you need that your life may be to the fullest. In John 10, 10, it tells us that the enemy comes to only kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came that you may have life and life to the fullest, overflowing in abundance when you choose him. Because then the Holy Spirit comes in you and he's the one that will never leave you. And he gives you all the things you need to have that life of blessings and fullness. So think about it. If you haven't received Jesus, ask Jesus to come in your heart. He's the one that will fill up that void that's there within you. And then remember that you'll never, ever, never, ever be alone because the Holy Spirit is with you all the time, all the time. And it's so awesome to know that you have someone who is so in control and gives you everything that you need when you need it. So that's my message for today. So I hope you will consider it if you have not accepted Jesus into your heart. And I hope if you already have, that you're reminded that the Holy Spirit is there within you. And in John 14, check it out because it tells you everything that the Holy Spirit, that he is within you and what he provides for you. So dear Lord, I thank you for this message. Thank you, God, that whoever may have heard it, who has not accepted you, Jesus, into their heart, that right now they would do so and they would invite you in and you would come in and the Holy Spirit would be that amazing immediate deposit who will live within them forever. So God, thank you, thank you, thank you for all you give us and for all you do for us. And I just pray this and bless it in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, God bless you.